Hello and welcome to myfinanceteacher.org. Today we are going to look at gold again. And judging by the gold performance of the last few days when gold is actually dropping, it looks like the scenario where we're going to see a dip in gold price before the next intermediate rally starts is the scenario that's actually going to take place. Before we continue, let me remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and click that bell notification. Thanks a lot. And although I have actually allocated already 30% of my precious metals related portfolio, I'm still quite happy to allocate the rest of the 70% at relatively cheaper prices for gold, silver, gold miners, whatever not. First of all, talking about the duration of the intermediate cycle in gold, which started somewhere around this double top late April, early May, it's already been going on for around six months, slightly more than that, just a few days more than that. And given a normal duration of half a year for these cycles, I think a cycle low is going to take place relatively soon. Maybe in the next one or two weeks. So over the next couple of days, I will gradually, gradually allocate more and more of my portfolio into gold and silver miners. But in the meantime, let's have a look at some technicals. Looking at the daily cycle in gold, they usually last for a couple of months, month and a half, two and a half months. This one has been going on for 38 days for now. So based on the duration of the daily cycle, there is also, I think, a very high chance that we will see both daily cycle and intermediate cycle low over the next short term. As I said, maybe one or two weeks will be enough for this modest decline to finish. By then, of course, I will be really, really happy to buy some gold closer to its 200 day moving average. One of the concerns I mentioned before is that previously the price was a little bit too high above its 200 day moving average. Looking at RSI as well, if gold declines for another few days, that will give a chance for RSI, this is a 14 day RSI, to come closer to the oversold territory, maybe even dip into that slightly. Some possible targets over the next couple of weeks. One of them is the top of this consolidation area in the middle of summer. That's just under 1450. And we can try to forecast some more targets using Fibonacci retracement numbers. From history, we know that 38, 50% and 62% retracement are the most common occurrences. 38% actually coincides with 1450. 50% retracement of all that intermediate cycle rally will bring us down to 1410, 1420. And a 62% retracement will be close to retesting that 200 day moving average. And also close to retesting this very long term support at about 1370, 1380. I realize that this is a wide range of targets, so I'm going to allocate the rest of my 70% relatively gradually, depending on what happens over the next couple of weeks. Notice that Bollinger Bands just a few days ago were very narrow, and that usually indicates that a violent move is possible. Given that the gold price is moving down at the moment, we might see gold coming much closer to its 200-day moving average. I would really like that. And of course, after that retest, I expect this intermediate cycle to finish and the new cycle to start with its advancing phase going into possibly Chinese New Year. Next, looking at the US dollar, the intermediate cycle in the US dollar started in late June. Usually these cycles also last for about half a year. Sometimes they stretch for much longer than that. So I think this intermediate cycle isn't finished yet and we are possibly still in the declining phase of this ongoing intermediate cycle in dollar. The current daily cycle in the US dollar is still young, looks like this low on the 1st of November is slightly lower than the low we saw in the middle of October. That means that this daily cycle in US dollar might still continue up for another few days, but, but I do expect US dollar to turn around and go back down over the next few weeks, again, based on the duration of the intermediate cycle. And also, looks like dollar is approaching some resistance levels, this 50-day moving average, for example, the blue line, the top of the Bollinger Bands, as well as these tops that we saw in May, that actually was the top of the previous intermediate cycle in US dollar. These are all resistance levels that US dollar seems to be approaching at the moment, so over the next few days, if dollar turns back down, that might help gold to finish with the cycle low and start its next advancing phase of the intermediate cycle rally. And when that happens, I'll be wondering what are the next targets. 
Well, looking at these several intermediate cycles since early 2016, the average gain in these seven cycles was 15.8%. So if gold goes down to that 50% Fibonacci retracement, that would be somewhere between 1410 and 1420. So starting from around 1420, 15.8% average gain would give us a target at about 1650. How do you like that by Chinese New Year? And if gold gains nearly 16%, imagine how much GDX and some of the most interesting miners are going to gain. Oh yeah, you feel my excitement? Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. And good luck in your trades.